Remember that 100 pack of firecracker? Well, this is just a 12. Be ready to run. Now again. Okay, uh, they didn't all go off. Hopefully the pesky rain didn't get it. It's always wise to keep a little bit of extra distance just in case it might go off. Wait a little bit. And approach cautiously. Yeah. See all these loose ones here with the string thing still attached? Well, they didn't go off. That's how come they were in the whole 12. This is a cracker ball. It's like a firecracker, although not quite as dangerous. It's still dangerous though, so light it and run. Light it and run. See, that is what the crackle ball does. A cracker ball, I don't know exactly what. I already don't remember. But that's basically all it does. It just splits in half. Okay. The next one is gonna be a little amazing. So, how do you suppose I'm going to light all that? Well, see that uh, blue one right there? That one's my target. I could probably do that violet colored one, but that one kind of overlaps too much, so I don't want to go with that one. Let's see. Yep. See this, this blue one right here? The fuse is right here. So, light that, and you have got those crackle balls. Run. Oh, wow, how pretty. I love that blue violet, that light blue violet there. That was nice. Four takes into this too because of too many cars. Yeah, I gotta watch these pesky clouds too. Although there's nothing up above. Now you might be thinking you're gonna be setting all that off at the same time, right? Wrong. To add to the fun. Yep, that's a crackle ball. I'm gonna put it right in the middle here too. That way, the heat from each and every single one of these. I'll melt this thing. Yes, you heard that right. Melt it. Gonna angle them all just close to right. This is a difficult thing to pull off too. Okay, see this fuse right here? This one right here? That's the one I'm gonna get. Gonna make sure there's plenty of distance so we can get back and run. Like that. Hey, and there it goes off. Now enjoy the colors. Kind of a strange color, huh? See, hey, and that's how you get the... That's how you kind of add a delay. Those things get hot when they... Start, initially start. These are jumping jacks. Normally they're more like dusk and nighttime fireworks. And so why am I lighting them now, even though it's still kind of bright? I mean, it's a star in the sky there. Well, I just want to show you the effects. These things basically just spin around in circles. See these two little itty bitty holes here? If you can make these out. This is what causes them to spin. So jetting a force out this way, up, up from here outward, which 
knowing that Newton's third law of motion, and it causes them to spin this that way. Hmm. Fuse. I always gotta find the fuse. So, just like the firecrackers, run after lighting these things. Although you don't have to go as extreme. Set them off and run. See, that's basically all they do, although they normally don't pop like that. But that's the aftermath. Think this might be a loose jumping jack? Well, it ain't. Remember this? Well, I'm going to light it. Except, this is too close. Way too close. So, I'm going to move it in a better spot. Such as right here. Okay? Remember, this is a firecracker. Light it and run. Yeah, they can bang pretty loudly. But that's basically all these things do. Now this has got to be the weirdest contraption ever. Well, what is it? Well, there's two sets of jumping jacks on top. There's three smoke balls, if you can make those out. There's one kind of hidden right here. Right here. And the rest is nothing but firecrackers. A little dynamite. Now, how do you suppose I'm going to light all that, and will it all go off? Well, we'll see. Ready? Get it all over the place. Okay, wait a little bit before I go any further. Now that was a nice combination. What a mess. Yeah, the downside is July 5th. The mega cleanup. 